Are you someone that is interested in marine life, the ocean, or biology, but aren't sure which path to pursue? Then this video is for you. All right, hi everyone, my name is Alexis and I am a fourth year PhD student at the University of Hawaii at Manoa studying biological oceanography. I specialize in zooplankton ecology and deep sea biology. And I'm making this video because when I was applying to graduate school, I knew that I wanted to do marine research, but I wasn't sure which path was best for me. So today we'll be going over some of the differences between marine science, oceanography, and marine biology. And I'll be going over which one may be best for you as an undergraduate or as a graduate student. Okay, so let's get right into it. Let's start with marine science because marine science is probably the most broad category out of the three and it comprises of many different subfields such as marine biology, marine ecology, marine conservation, oceanography, meteorology, atmospheric sciences, and even ocean engineering. So marine science is basically any of the sciences that like remotely relate to marine environments. Um, so it's a mixed bag of a lot of different things. So marine science is a pretty big category um, that many different fields fall under. One of them being oceanography, which I'll get into next. So oceanography is going to focus more on the ocean environment itself. This includes its chemistry, physics of the ocean, geology, and even biology. So oceanography branches out into different subfields known as marine chemistry or chemical oceanography, physical oceanography, marine geology or geological oceanography, and biological oceanography. Okay, so in my opinion, what differentiates biological oceanography from things like marine biology is the fact that there is a heavy emphasis on the environment itself and how organisms that are living in the ocean are interacting with it or maybe influencing um, certain processes in the ocean. And if we're thinking about how different organisms interact with each other and in their environment, uh, this is basically known as marine ecology. So I think some aspects of biological oceanography are very, very similar to marine ecology. For example, I am a PhD student in an oceanography department and I fall under this biological oceanography like subfield or discipline and I'm studying zooplankton ecology in an area of the ocean where there happens to be an oxygen minimum zone so a low supply of oxygen in this area and I'm looking at how zooplankton kind of structure themselves based on these differences in oxygen throughout the water column. I'm also looking at things like zooplankton biomass, so how much zooplankton are out there, what is the diversity of the zooplankton out there, so who is there and what amounts. So how does the like physical and chemical components of the environment that they're living in affect their ecology or their distributions. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm studying and why my zooplankton ecology work falls under biological oceanography. Next, we have marine biology. So marine biology is the study of marine life and different marine organisms. This means that marine biologists are often focusing on the organism itself. They look at their anatomy, behavior, physiology, diversity, evolution, and ecological relationships, so how they interact with each other. And while the environment that the organisms are living in does impact the organism itself, their focus is not so much the environment, but what the actual animal itself is doing. And yeah, there's there's more of an emphasis on the individual organism. 
However, it's important to note that marine ecology, which is kind of like a subfield within marine biology, closely overlaps with some aspects of biological oceanography. There's just going to be more of an emphasis on the actual animals rather than the environment. That being said, for the work that I'm doing, I could have applied to be in the marine biology program. Um, and that would have worked out just as well. There were other reasons that I chose the oceanography to program as opposed to marine biology, but this was more related to funding and more of a financial like decision. Okay, so now that you have a better sense of what marine science, oceanography, and marine biology are, I'll talk a little bit about which route might be the best option for you as an undergrad and as a graduate student. Okay, so first, as an undergrad, I think it's really important that you start with a major that is gonna give you like foundational courses such as general biology, chemistry, physics, geoscience, and even environmental science. All of these are really excellent choices for a program that can help prepare you for a career, whether it's grad school or not, in marine science. So I think as an undergrad, you want to choose a major that is pretty broad, but covers a lot of the foundational courses that you're gonna need to know before going into grad school or a career in marine related research. And as an undergrad, that means that you have a few different options. You can look at general biology, um, this can also be separated into like ecology and evolutionary biology or molecular and cellular biology, um, but some sort of biology, chemistry, physics, geosciences, and even environmental science programs. I think one of the most important things to do as an undergrad is to kind of customize your degree to align with your interest. So this means you can consider doing a double major or even adding a minor in something that is marine related if you know that that's something that you want to do. You can also seek out marine related research experiences or internships uh, to help strengthen your resume when you're thinking about careers in a marine field. The lighting is changing a little funny, but bear with me. And I also think that you need to choose your coursework wisely. And what I mean by this is to take classes that you think are gonna be best for you to know or give you the skills that you need to know for a career, um, whether that's grad school or beyond in a marine related field. So this can include certain subjects like genetics, genomics, if you're interested in doing any type of molecular work, this is a really good start, as well as biochemistry, microbiology, um, if you're interested in microorganisms, wildlife conservation, if, if you're interested in more um, conservation issues, you can also study climate science. This is really important to know as any scientist um, or like global change courses, as well as other courses that can give you skills in statistics, GIS, or another computer programming language. I think these are really great options of like courses to begin with that can help like strengthen your degree. Yeah, I think it doesn't matter so much which degree or major that you choose, what is most important are which classes are you taking or which classes did you take during your undergrad and how has that prepared you for next steps afterward. So I would encourage you to think about which topics are you most interested in or which skills would you like to learn or like to have to apply to a career or to grad school once you graduate. And you might be wondering like, oh, can't I just go straight into a marine biology major as an undergrad? And I think you definitely can. If you know for a fact that marine biology is what you wanna do in grad school or a career relating to that, 
then that could be an excellent choice for you and there's so many great marine bio programs but also keep in mind that getting that like niche or that specific and only focusing on marine biology during your undergrad can also have some like negative consequences i guess like if you decide to change your mind or maybe you realize oh marine biology isn't really for me then it may have been better to just choose something like more broad like general biology um, or something like that so just keep in mind that your interest may shift over time and that's completely okay because like i said what matters is the classes that you're taking the research and like internship and extra opportunities that you're seeking out not so much the major that you got your degree in also yeah just be cautious um, because when i was an undergrad i was very into herpetology that wasn't like my major but a lot of my research was centered around that but had that been my major which is just like very very niche very specific um, I might not have taken all of the more like general foundational courses that I need that were applicable to any field in biology, not just this specific one. So just keep that in mind, like your interest will probably change over time throughout your undergrad. Um, so something to keep in mind. And now for graduate students. So as a graduate student, you're going to want to start focusing in on your specific research interest. So if you know that you like marine related fields, um, start thinking about like which aspects of it you like the most. Do you like the biology, the chemistry? Are you really into the math or like even engineering? Like what exactly are you interested in? I also wanted to mention that you do not have to do your undergrad in the same like major or degree or field that you wanna do your graduate degree in. It could be different, but you should just be well prepared and well qualified for the path that you want to focus in on in graduate school. So for example, if I had a mostly biology background and took two physics classes, maybe it wouldn't make sense for me to decide to go into a physical oceanography program. Like maybe I've taken more chemistry classes and that would make more sense rather than going into something completely un unrelated like geology or something. Um, but basically, if you have a biology background, whether it be with like viruses, microorganisms, um, bacteria, plants, animals, whatever, you can consider a graduate program in marine biology or even biological oceanography. If you have more of a chemistry background and let's say you're really interested in oxygen levels in the ocean or like the carbon cycle or nitrogen cycle or certain metals that are in the ocean then maybe marine chemistry or chemical oceanography would be a good choice for you if you're really into physics and have like a strong background in math um, maybe you want to study like waves currents or atmospheric sciences then physical oceanography could be a really good choice for you Maybe you're interested in like what's going on at the sea floor, in the sediments, in the rocks. Then geological oceanography could be a really good fit for you. If you love the ocean and you're also interested in engineering or have background in engineering, then you can also consider ocean engineering programs. I really don't know that much about them, but I know that they do exist um, and that could be an option if you want to blend like ocean and engineering. Now, as you can probably see, marine science is a pretty broad field that offers a lot of exciting opportunities in many different subfields. Um, okay, so whether you're like really into physics and excited by the idea of studying wave dynamics, or maybe you think the deep sea is like super fascinating and you can't wait to study life in the deep sea, or maybe you care a lot about climate change and protecting our coral reefs, um, then there's really so many options of different career paths in marine science. And I think that you can really find one that is best suited 
for you. So your journey in marine science begins with you building a strong foundation and customizing your education to align with your own research interest and the subjects that really excite you. Okay, stay tuned for future videos where I'll discuss some of the best schools and programs for different marine science degrees, as well as explore various career opportunities in this exciting field. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give it a big like if you found it helpful in any way and subscribe so you guys don't miss any videos like this. And if you're interested in seeing what my life looks like as a PhD student in Hawaii studying oceanography, then check out some of my PhD vlogs which are going to be shown on the screen.